Good morning everyone, my name is Megan, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about nighttime cloth diapering. Cloth diapering at night can be one of the biggest hurdles that a cloth diapering family can overcome. It definitely has a lot of challenges and a lot of people who cloth diaper choose to only do it during the day just because it seems way too daunting. But I'm here to tell you that it's not really as hard as it seems. I started cloth diapering my first daughter when she was a newborn and she is almost a year old now and we have done daytime and nighttime cloth diapering the entire time. Something will work great for a while and then I'll have to switch it up as she gets older and starts peeing more and so I just wanted to give you an up close look at how I nighttime cloth diaper and also some more solutions if you're having trouble with your diapers leaking in one particular area. So let's get right into this. So first I'm going to show you guys what I what I do every single night and I've done this since Sophia was about three or four months old. I have just a cover here. This is actually a happy flute cover. It's an all-in-one size. It has a bunch of adjustable snaps. She's on the second snap right now so she's got some room to grow. The other cover that I really like for this is the Thirsties size 2. This is a little bit big on her and it's adjusted all the way down so she has a lot of room to grow in this one. Once she was like six, seven months, then I could start fitting her in these as long as I packed them enough. So I will show you with this one. First, I take a pre-fold. I absolutely love pre-folds. I use them like all the time, constantly. And because they can unfold and you can fold them in different ways, I find that they're a lot easier to keep clean. So these are just kind of my go-to for day and night. I have a ton of these. So first I do what's called a pad fold, where I just take each of these sides and fold them over like this. So that this is just a flat piece like this. And then I have here a Thirsty's Hemp size large insert, and I just set this right on top, and it just goes right in this diaper. And then this goes around her like that, and this is what works for us every single night. She can last 12 hours in this diaper, and ever since I started doing it like this, I haven't had like a single problem with leaking. Now, if you're if you're doing that and you're still having problems with leaking, you can you can take another hemp insert. One thing I really like about these is how thin they are. So they're super super absorbent, but they're really small, so you can fit a lot of them in the diaper. I've found that it's better to use only a couple of inserts that are really highly absorbent rather than using like rather than using a ton of inserts that are maybe less absorbent because if you have too much bulk you're going to have problems with the diaper not fitting properly around their legs and then you're going to have leakage problems just from that. So now if you are cloth diapering a boy and you find that they are wetting a lot more towards the front and you're having problems with leaking in the front of your diaper, then what I would do is take maybe a flour sack prefold and cut it so that it's small, and then you can just add some more absorbency through the front here. If you're cloth diapering a girl and they're wetting like in the middle here or in the back, then you can add more absorbency here or here. My daughter wets a lot in the middle here, and what I was doing for a while was I was folding these this way so that all this absorbency is right here and then I would add this on top. So you can really play around with these a lot and do them in all kinds of different ways and just see what works for your baby the best. Maybe you don't have covers, you only have pocket diapers. I know I didn't have any covers when I first started. I used pocket diapers at night from when she was a newborn to around three or four months and they worked great. The only reason that they stopped working was that they don't have double leg gussets. You can see that there's only one layer of elastic right here, and so she was just leaking a lot through these. These covers that I have, you can see they have two layers of leg gussets, so this just really helps keep all that inside. I think that's the main reason that covers are working better for us right now. But when she was a newborn, all I had to do was take two microfiber inserts and put them right inside this pocket diaper. And that was all I had to do when she was really little. And then when she was around three months old, that stopped working and she started leaking every single night. And I was like, okay, we really need to figure out something else. So microfiber mainly works well for younger babies. I, I noticed that as my daughter got older, I use these less and less. I mostly use these during the day and it's usually with like a hemp insert. So I'll put the hemp on top of the microfiber just for a little extra something, but I almost never use microfiber by itself anymore. It's just not all that great. 
So if you're trying to use a pocket diaper at night, what I would do is maybe take a couple hemp inserts and you can pack them right in there or you can even lay them on top if you'd rather do that and fold it over. Probably if I ran out of my covers, what I would do right now with her, and she's almost a year old, is I would fold this how I normally do it and then I would take one of these and I would put these inside the pocket diaper. So again, it's just exactly the same thing that I'm doing with the cover, except it's inside of a pocket diaper, which will work really well for most babies. The only reason that this isn't working the greatest for us right now is my daughter pees a lot really fast. So if she doesn't have those double leg gussets, it just really seems to, to it just can't absorb it fast enough and it just runs out the sides. That's why I really prefer these covers. But I highly, highly recommend using a cover with one prefold and one hemp insert or even two hemp inserts. This just is a super bulletproof nighttime cloth diaper. It's worked super well for us even though my daughter is a heavy wetter. She sleeps for 12 hours at a stretch now and this almost never ever leaks. I don't think we've had leaking problems since we had the issues with the pocket diapers and had to switch to double leg gussets but now that we're using these this is like my no fail solution. So that is how I nighttime cloth diaper my daughter. I hope that was helpful. And again, just, just play around with all the different inserts and prefolds and covers and all the different diaper supplies you have. When the pocket diapers stopped working for us, that's actually when we bought the Thirsty's Hemp inserts and tried those out. So maybe this is an opportunity to try a different kind of cloth diaper. But once you get it down, it really is super, super easy. And a lot of babies aren't gonna need quite as much absorbency as my daughter does, and some are gonna need more. But the great thing about cloth diapers is you can always take inserts out or add more in. So they're just super flexible to whatever your baby needs. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.